Hi, I'm Eddie. I'm in Year 9. Hi, I'm Mr. Kaleem. I'm a chemistry teacher at the wonderful, amazing Aquila School. How are you today, Maria? I'm great. How are you? I'm not bad. Oh. Look what we've got today. Lollipop. Ooh. What's special about lollipops? What's, a, what's the ingredient that's in lollipops? Sugar. Sugar. Now, this is sugar that we're interested in because today we're going to be looking at this chemical substance here. Potassium pomegranate. Pomegranate. Close. It's not quite potassium pomegranate. It's potassium permanganate. And the bit that we're interested in is not the pomegranate part. We're interested in the, the manganese. Manganese is a metal. It's a transition metal. And one thing about transition metals is they show multiple oxidation states. What color do you think that looks like to you? Gray. Gray? Yeah. Maybe black, darkish? Okay, yeah, black. Okay, yeah, black. So let's see what color the manganese iron actually is. What substance have we got here? Sodium. Sodium hydroxide. hydroxide. So what we need, Maria, is we need 200 mils of our sodium hydroxide into this beaker, please. So sodium hydroxide is the alkali that we're going to use in this reaction. Excellent, into the beaker, and you're gonna have to do it twice. So remember you said the potassium permanganate was what color? Black. Black or grey or dark, yeah. If you see what I'm doing here, I take a very small amount like that and you're going to do it and drop it into that and give it a little stir. So you should, you should just be able to bounce it, yeah, perfect. Drop it in. Whoa. Whoa. Happy? Yeah. Okay, so what colour is it? It was black or That's dark. Uh, the reason it's purple is because the manganese ion has a plus seven oxidation state. Manganese actually has the maximum or the, one of the highest numbers of oxidation states. An oxidation state is effectively the hypothetical or theoretical value of a metal ion every time it loses an electron. So when it changes oxidation state, what do we think might happen to our liquid? Change color. Okay, let's have a look. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lollipop this means you won't be able to eat it afterwards though. Are you oh. okay with that? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so you take the lollipop in and you're gonna give it a little stir and let's see what happens. So while you're mixing this, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the sugar to react with the, the manganese and hopefully we should start to get, oh, we have got a slight change there. What's our, what's our change there? Now it's black. Black? Oh, now it's blue. Blue, blue, green. So as we're, as we're rotating through uh, these colours, we are getting a slight change in oxidation state. And what you've done now is you've probably stripped um, or you've probably given it an electron. You keep going. Uh, how much of the lollipops left? Okay, some of it's gone. It's turning yellow. It is, isn't it? So again, we're starting to get that change. Um, and maybe if we use this, we might be able to get pull some of the colours out to see the differences. Turning yellow? Yeah. Now, sometimes uh, we do get the final oxidation state, plus two, but it can be, be tricky to get that reaction to go all the way. But we're definitely getting a change in colour, yeah? Yeah. So what colours did we start with, Maria? Purple. Start with purple, and then eventually it went Green. And now, Yellow. has that blown your mind or what? Yeah, it's so cool. So. Oxidation states. Ta-da! 